Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a few time that I have uploaded any video on YouTube and uh, most of you guys know the reason why uh, that I have shifted to Singapore uh, like it's been one and a half month now. So it was quite challenging for me initially to come here to adapt to start a new job role uh, different projects different people so yeah it was quite challenging initially but now i think most of the things are quite sorted so i thought let's go ahead and start our youtube things again because i have started a series back in india which was authentication and authorization series which i will be completing it very soon because we have four parts already released now again i have to work on the further parts which is regarding the login and then about the jwt token then about router guards then about the dashboard in angular and all those stuff so i will be completing that now all right and uh, before that starting the video that i also would like to highlight this thing that we are very close to 10k so if you have guys not subscribed to my channel so please go ahead and do it that will highly motivate me because 10k was was my milestone which I have set when I have started my YouTube channel and that's the reason that now you guys can see me doing face cam as well so this is the reason that I have actually promised myself that once I reach 10k then I will be starting like whatever video I will be creating it will be all with face cam so that's why you guys can see me as well all right I hope uh, before I release the video I may I may touch 10k let's see all right so coming for the today's part like we will be covering about a few things which i got in the comment section which is that sir we are not able to log in after hashing the password okay because that hashing the password when we hash the password the password gets stored as encrypted format and if you try to log in so it was throwing an error okay so that thing we are going to cover in this today's part and also we will see how we can make use of some angular pop-up to display some good looking uh, success and error messages okay so let's go ahead and see what what things we have on the api side so we have these two api created register and authenticate all right let me open up my angular project it is already running on localhost 4200 Okay, so let me just go ahead and try to sign up a user first and then we can proceed so that I can test okay what all things are working. So let's go and the sign up user. So I have some mock data already. So I will be using this data for first name and last name. Okay, let me copy this. Last name, username. And then we have email. And password we will be keeping everything common for our testing purpose it will be admin at the rate one two three okay this is what we are going to keep let's click on sign up and let me also open up my console to check if there are any errors okay so there is no error and I can see that my user is added okay so let's go on the login page and try to uh, log in so let me copy the username again because we are logged in by using username and password and the password was admin at the rate one two three all right so yeah this is correct so if i click on login okay let me remove the debug point yeah i can see something went wrong and in the console i can see a error saying 404 not found okay which means this user is not found it is saying and I'm not sure why like you guys also be because I saw some of my students complained that uh, register is working but login is not working and the reason why it is not working because we haven't used the verify password so if you remember in the part 4 we have created this password hasher in the helper class so we haven't used this method called as verify password so this is what we are going to use it right now all right so let's go in the login in the user controller okay and in the login here if you see that we are checking the username is correct or and the password is matching so password is not matching because I have told you right 
we have encrypted the password and now it is stored like this let me show you in my database all right if i just try to check can you see the password is saving some encrypted way okay so that is why the password is not matching because user is sending admin at the rate one two three but in the database we have this password and that doesn't matches and if the password doesn't match so we are getting this error called as user not found 404 because the user is null so let's go ahead and fix it okay so to fix this issue what we need to do is first we need to have a if condition okay so this if condition will verify if the password is correct or not so let's remove this logic and password let's remove it and let's go here first it will check if the username exists or not if the username exists then we have to verify the password if the username doesn't exist which means if the user is null then we will return that no user found for this username okay all right let's go in this line and just do that verify password so if i say if password hasher dot verify password okay so it expects th two things first is your user object password so we will say your user obj dot password comma and the second thing we need to send the base has like the encrypted one the base 64 hash which is coming from the user okay which is this one user dot password because this is not null now if it is null then it will return user not found and it is not null then it is returning this okay now this is our if condition so this this verify password returns a boolean if you see it returns a boolean okay if the boolean value is true which means the user is verified if the user value is false then we can say no the user doesn't exist okay so what i can do is i can just check here if the password is not verified okay so i can just return here return bad request and i can just say your new message i can just say that password is incorrect okay that's what i can say all right and if the password is correct which means if the value is uh, like true then it will fall under this guy and this will say that login is success so this is what we need to do to make that thing work let's save this and rerun your application okay now let me just go here and copy the username from the database all right and now uh, let's go ahead in your angular okay let me again i need to run it all right now i put the username as this and password is admin at the rate one two three okay so let me put up a wrong password let me say one two three four okay and let me click on login let me also open up inspect so can you see it again returns something went wrong which means there was some error and if I go in the console, if I open up the HTTP response, I can see the error as password is incorrect. Okay, which means it is coming in this loop. Okay, and it is coming in this loop and the password is not matching because the password was 123 and we are putting 1234. If I remove this 4 and if I click on login now, okay, so let me remove the debug point and I can see I got a message login success and now i am on my dashboard page okay so this was the issue that most of you guys were facing so this was the resolution for it like you need to uh, first go ahead and use that verify password method okay if you use that now your issue will be fixed all right okay, so if you have noticed one thing here that every time whenever we have any error or issue so we are uh, showing them in alerts for example if my login is success if i click on login I guess there is an alert triggers which says login success okay but I don't think so this looks good so what we can do is we can make use of some uh, angular pop-up uh, which can display this kind of messages okay if there is any error if there is any success message so we can make use of it okay so to uh, install that angular pop-up I will be using uh, one of my own created package which is uh, this one ng angular 
pop up okay so by the way this uh, supports for version 13 angular version 13 so but what we can do we can make use of uh, a false and uh, like sorry fall, not false the hyphen hyphen force to install this in angular 14 so let me just copy this and let's go in your angular project okay let's open up a terminal and let's paste this but make use of this force okay so this will install this package ng angular pop-up in your project okay so we will be using this uh, throughout our project to display any error or success messages so we can see that this package has been added and now let's go ahead and configure this package so to configure it uh, you can follow my steps what I have uh, mentioned here in this in this website so I'll be following this throughout so let's go ahead and do it so first of all we need to import ng toast module in the app module folder so let's go in your app module dot ts file and uh, let's put it here okay now also add it in the imports array as ng toast module okay once this is added we'll try to do step number two which is how to use it so to use it we have to inject it okay but I'm for sure that we need to first put up in your app.html file so here we need to include that library that is uh, lib lib ng toast okay so we need to add the selector so that your selector will be visible not your toaster will be visible on your website okay so once these guys are added now we need to use it so for using it it is very simple all you need to do is suppose I want to use it in login component so I'll go in the login component I'll check for the constructor and I will try to inject so we can inject the service as this toast colon ng toast service okay if you see it is imported on the top as well if you click it is imported on the top ng toast service and this service we will be using whenever the login is success so for example here if you see right oh, we are using this alert so I can remove this alert now I can just make sure that this dot toast dot success okay and this expects a message okay here we can put here first thing as details and in detail we can put directly response sorry detail we can put it is a success or error so we can say success then we have summary in the summary we can put your message which is coming from the back end so it is response dot message okay and we can make use of duration so I want it to display for 5000 milliseconds which is 5 seconds okay same thing I will be doing for error as well so let me copy this all and I can paste it here okay uh, but the problem is here we have to say detail as error because we are doing it for error block and I can copy this something went wrong and I can paste it here and again the, the duration should be 5 you can increase the as many uh, second you want but this remember this is milliseconds okay this is 5000 milliseconds which is equivalent to 5 seconds and this has to be changed from success to error so we are using the error method so this dot toast dot error and detail summary and duration okay so once this is added let's save the file okay and let's check if the compile is success yeah, I can see some compile is successfully all right so let's go here and let's try to make an error okay if I put here uh, some random name and some random password and if I try to log in I can see okay it says something went wrong because there is an empty alert that's why it was empty let me remove this save it and again let's make some wrong mistake and login can you see now we are getting this beautiful toaster so uh, we can get rid of that alerts javascript alert so it's better to use some good toast messages okay now so 
same thing I need to test for success so let me just try to copy the username from my mock data username is this and password is ad at my n at the rate one two three if I log in I can see login success also I can see alert again I think I have forgot to remove the alert so let me remove the alert and now things will be back to normal okay so that's how we have actually configured um, a pop-up in in your project so that pop-up was been created by me if you want to give any feedback to that pop-up or you want any improvement you can do let me know so that I can work on its uh, future versions okay so now I want you guys to practice the same thing what I did in login component right now to implement the ng angular pop-up okay if you are guys able to do it then do let me know in the comment section you guys just need to follow the step what I have did for the login component okay so again all you need to do is just need to inject in the constructor and make use of it wherever you want well, it's mostly wherever you see alert right you just need to replace it with our new toast module okay if you are guys face any issue doing that do let me know in the comment section but I am 100% sure that you guys will make it okay so that's it from this today's session where we have uh, learned about how we can do login after the hashing our password okay so this part was not covered in my part 4 so this is what I did in this part and in next part which is going to be dropped very soon after this one and that will be about JWT token okay and again I have told this thing in part 4 as well that it is one of the important session where I will be covering that in detail about the theoretical part and also the implementation part of JWT token in angular and .NET Core okay so that's it from today's video if you guys have loved this part then do let me know in the comment section you can give me a thumbs up to this video and also you can subscribe to my channel and we are anyhow very close to 10k subs so i want you guys to make it soon okay all right bye and take care